Welcome back to the Mayorverse, everybody. Mayor Reynolds, aka Midnight Mayor, here. And today we are talking about Big Fat Battle. This just might be the next big viral game or viral FPS of 2023 that you might see popping up a lot on Twitch. I feel like all this is going to take is one big streamer like XQC or somebody jumping in. Then you're going to see a ton of people following suit and playing this game. Imagine if Fall Guys and Fortnite and kind of Counter-Strike and kind of Party Animals all had a baby. That's Big Fat Battle. Let's take a look from my recent stream, talk about the game, and I'll show you some clips. Right, so as you take in some Big Fat Battle gameplay here, the game is a 32-player third-person shooter at its core, but it takes place over a series of five rounds set up kind of like Fall Guys, where every single round some players, the, the worst performers, so to speak, are eliminated. Uh, it has a plethora, I guess, of different modes, you know, standard team deathmatch, uh, VIP, uh, basically what is kill confirmed, uh, a variety of modes. There's not a ton here, but there's a there's a few. The game's early access right now. It's on Steam for uh, $15 or it's on sale for like, I think, 10 or 20% off. So it's like 12, 13 bucks. As you can see, the real fun of the game is uh, that it's just, it's just zany, right? It's kind of like Fall Guys. Look at the characters. You got Donald Trump right there, uh, Kim Jong-un, there's Vikings, there's foxes, there's pandas, there's monkeys, there's Rambo looking dudes. Uh, they're just wild and crazy characters in this game. I think a shark just walked across my screen, but then there's a roguelike element as well that makes every single game different. There's an economy kind of like Counter-Strike based on the coins. So every round, um, you know, there's different weapons that you might get rolled to you because you only have a certain number of weapons. So maybe round one, it rolls you a sniper rifle and you can either then in round two, choose to upgrade that or get a different gun or upgrade your health. So it does make every game different and kind of have different builds. Uh, every single game that you play, there's a flamethrower. Again, the, the character quote unquote of this game is really the charm. There's three maps here at, at Early Access Launch, uh, Jurassic World, the one you're looking at. There's one on a space station. And then there's one that's, I think it might be a crab uh, themed map, kind of, maybe. Uh, their last game was called Crab Champions, by the way, which had about 10 million players, according to the stats. So this is from an indie team that has done stuff that it's been at least mildly successful in the past. Crab Champions obviously leaning into that meme type game. And as the game plays out, again, as you're seeing on screen right now, the worst performers get eliminated, the teams get reshuffled, and then move on. Um, interestingly enough, that whole system, kind of like that Fall Guys idea, um, in my opinion, the game is at its best when it's 32 players. So kind of as the game gets smaller, it kind of gets a, a, you know, every round does feel slightly different pacing wise, but those kind of middle rounds, like rounds three and four as the game gets smaller, in my opinion, the game is just best in that early round when the, when the match is totally full. Uh, but it is fun, not gonna lie. It's not the most in-depth game in the world, but there are a, a variety of weapons. There's characters to unlock, uh, weapons to unlock, progression, and so on. And that's one of the big questions I have about the game is how much content are they gonna be able to add over time? How quickly? New maps, new modes. New modes would be a big one. Um, they really keep people coming back for more and playing in a, in a seasonal model or whatever. Uh, so there's that, you know, right now I did not see any microtransactions in the game whatsoever, which some people might like um, because it is a paid game. It's about, like I said, $15 on Steam. Uh, I, I do think I got to be honest, I think a free to play approach would probably be better for this game and, uh, you know, grant a huge influx of players. I think if they do paid early access for a while, and then go free to play and add, you know, microtransactions. They could really do some crazy stuff with the skins and the art style of this game. I'd be fine with that. Something like the Fall Guys uh, Fortnite model monetization wise. I'm totally fine with that. I think that would lead to the best success and adoption of the game in the long term. Just people jumping in, having fun, buying some crazy skin to look like some ridiculous character. But uh, this is Big Fat Battle, guys. I had fun with it on stream. People in, ch in chat really enjoyed it. You can do cool stuff with the sniper, which is my favorite gun by far, like get collaterals, which is more than uh, some games have. So this is it. I'm going to play some clips from uh, Twitch, my Twitch stream. Check me out, twitch.tv slash Mayor Reynolds. If you have questions or thoughts on Big Fat Battle, leave them down uh, in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and go check out 
my Dead Drop exclusive channel, Midnightmare, where we cover that game exclusively. And uh, we've even got a live action series over there. So go check it out. Check out Big Fat Battle. See you in the next video. Like it if you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Dude, the fat boy doesn't die in one shot. But he will die when I explode the barrel. Oh my god. Dude, I am... Literally, sign me. Sign me. New York Subliners. I'm going pro. It's pretty easy to hit these big fatties, not gonna lie. Oh, I missed Trump's head, though. That's too bad. Didn't miss him that time. <laughs> oh, I missed again. There's just something satisfying about shooting Donald Trump in the head. Is that like a grandmother? How'd that miss? Can't hit anybody, dude. What the fuck is on me? Oh, it's the baby! Burn. There we go. Jesus. Need health. Uh oh. It's Fat Elvis, dude. He got <laughs> Instead of Reese Witherspoon. Like, what? Why am I tiny? I did play Farlight. I played Farlight, I feel like, before even the official release. I streamed it. Oh, Trump's getting his ass kicked. Is that Chewbacca? What is that? That's a gnome. God to your game. This should be on mobile. I'm gonna go flamethrow them all. You ready? You ain't surviving this. I'm a beast. I'm a murderer. Oh, I... Dude, you know which community, by far, in my opinion, has the biggest percentage of, of Spanish-speaking players? And I don't know why. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, I truly... Am I, I've heard people say it's because of Dom, the character Dom. Um, it's Gears of War. Like, the Spanish-speaking community in Gears is huge. I got unlimited rockets right now, so I'm about to go ham. Oh, my lord. A massacre. I'm dominating. I killed myself again. Game's about to end though, and we won 13 zip, so now we go 3v. This video is sponsored by Control, and you can get some for yourself at 10% off at drinkcontrol.com using code 10 mayor at checkout. They've got all sorts of high protein meal replacement products like their shakes. Also, new protein cookies are out there. And you know, I'm a person who's really into the gym, really into always trying to challenge myself and be healthier. And I would love to see more companies really try to help gamers get healthier and uh, have more nutritious diets, you know, get away from some of those stereotypical gamer diets. So check out control at drinkctrl.com and use code 10 to get a discount on whatever your order may be.